making a cast, especially a heavy cast, make sure that the leader knot is sitting at the very, very end of the spool. That is really important because that first lunge of the cast, when the line flies off the spool, you don't want the leader knot to actually interfere with the smoothness of the line passing through. With the leader knot being the very last item to go through after the leader, it just smoothens up the cast a hell of a lot. Before making a cast, I think the most important thing is to just get the grip and the stance and everything sorted. So immediately I split my fingers, so two fingers under the reel seat and two fingers above the reel seat with my casting finger gripping the line like that. So then, because on the competitive carp angling side we've been taught that um, you're not allowed to cast uh, or make a, what we call a surf cast, we have to cast over our heads. So that's number one, it's a safety factor, because if someone's sitting next to you, sitting at a, at, a, at a point or whatever the case might be, and you get a crack off, you, ca you can actually cause serious damage. So by casting over your head, the idea is that there's no lateral movement. You've got to make sure that first and foremost, you, you put your, your weight on your front leg and you extend your arms. Then, before you make the cast, obviously, I've got to make sure that there's nothing behind me and then if you look at the, the, my back arm the minute I'm ready to cast I'm going to push that backwards so I've got a slight and um, more uh, leverage so I'm going to give it a bash I'm pivoting onto my back foot and 